What is going on guys, Austin Richo here, and today we're doing more Marvel Legends, and this time we have a couple two-pack sets here. So first we have the Hydra two-pack of the Hydra Enforcer and Hydra Soldier here, and you can even see it still has the Target, or Toys R Us, sorry, exclusive sticker on there, because this was all the way back when Tar uh, Toys R Us was still around. This was an uh, exclusive figure to that, and I remember us looking for this uh, probably months before Toys R Us even closed, and once it started announced that they were closing, my brother was all upset and everything, thinking we were going to completely miss out on these two sets here because they are both uh, Toys R Us, and since they're closing, it's like, well, no, we're never going to get them now, but thanks to Entertainment Earth, we were able to get them, order them both up there, so this is the first set, and then our second set is the AIM Soldier, so this time we have the AIM Scientist here and the AIM Troop over here of course and both these sets are like army builder sets so you get you know two figures and then you get all sorts of different combinations that you can you know turn them into so you get their heads that they're wearing and then they also come with additional um, heads and stuff as you can see here this one comes with four different types of heads that you can choose between and everything so it's a big old pack with multiple different stuff of course we only got one of each for price wise stuff but I know my brother said he would love to have like two at least two more of each pack just to have you know all the different versions and stuff like that um, but let's go ahead and get into them and look at all the different combinations they make so here we've got the Hydra pack and here we have the enforcer and the soldier we'll look at the enforcer first so we'll just set the soldier back over there so this looks pretty cool these sets are pretty cool like all together I just like them a lot in general but here we've got the classic looking like design and stuff of the Hydra soldiers for you know from the comics and everything so we've got the yellow and the green colors here which I really like that color scheme together and stuff so we're looking at the force enforcer and this is just the basic set I haven't changed any of these things but we will look at the difference and stuff that come with it so here on the enforcer we do have a helmet so it's a nice green helmet that goes you know covers all the way down to the nose and then it just exposes them out there it's got um, blacked out eyes with red like actual pupils and stuff in there it may be hard to see but they are right there you can kind of see it right there and I like the yellow stripes on the side and stuff then go down he is in an all green like body suit design and stuff and then on top of course we have this yellow vest which has some you know like look like shotgun shells almost some grenades there and of course all sorts of different pockets got a belt there holding it together we have a sheath there on the back to hold a knife and it just looks like a you know a bulletproof armored vest or something then going down we have a um, belt here with you know a bunch of more pockets around the sides of it all over so you know a little holster type thing come down over here with more pockets then we have his two leg holsters again with more pockets on them and then um, just down to the boots where they're all yellow and so again he's got the green here so you can see green knee pads so these are you know like looser pants and stuff like army like military style pants that are all green and everything then up top it's more like a tight fitting bodysuit um, on the uh, shoulder there you can see the Hydra logo there so like the octopus with the skull um, and then he's got yellow arms and everything so th that looks like that's about it he d doesn't have any other um, design details to him it looks like it looks like that's just pretty much it um, but he is a bigger guy as you can see like compared to the soldier the enforcer is much bigger and heavier and everything so that's really cool so we'll set him aside for now and then we'll move on to the soldier so with the soldier again he is a smaller type design guy but again continuing on with the yellow and green colors here I like his big red eyes there just like the way the mask is covering his head stuff with the big green eyes it makes him you know look even weird and creepier this guy looks much older and like menacing and stuff just the way his face is designed and stuff he looks like an older person again he's in the green bodysuit this time it, as you can see it's like a tight suit all the way through not cut the loose pants or anything um, but here on his chest he does have like I think these are called like shoulder holst shoulder holsters maybe um, I don't really know if that's exactly what they're called but it has the H on there of course for Hydra and stuff but it snaps in here but to get the snap you have to like put it up high feel the H should be you know down on his chest and it does have the circle on the back so it should line up and the circles like right up here so it should be moved but I can't get it to button up and everything unless I can kind of force it around and it's kind of starting to come apart and everything but I don't think you can get it on there um, like in the right position and it stays snapped or anything but um, I'll try and figure that out um, then go down we've got a belt here and then just yellow shoes yellow gloves and then he does have the Hydra logo there on the side of his um, or on his shoulders and stuff movements got it all the same so heads can you know nod turn back and forth he does have an ab crunch shoulder joints there that can you know move up and down and they can twist around a little there the bicep double elbow joint of course the hand 
Then we've got the waist, can twist at the waist, and then he's got the hip, which is kind of stuck there. It can move back and forth, has the thigh joint, or thigh twist there. Double knee, um, leg, or shin can twist around there, and then of course the normal foot with the, f which it's like stuck on this one for some reason, but they can move. I think I did it on this side. Yeah, I can move and then twist side to side and everything as well. So uh, he has all the movement. So I'm pretty sure the enforcer has the exact same movement set up. There's nothing uh, difference between just their size overall and everything. So again, they're two kind of plain and basic shoulders. Soldiers. Nothing. If I can spit the proper words out now, his foot's all messed up and everything. Oh, and I can't get him to stand back up. There we go. So let's look at their accessories. We'll start with the Enforcer first since we did him. For heads, he does come with a head here. So this is just, I assume, what he's supposed to look like underneath there maybe. Not exactly sure. But we've got an unmasked head here with, you know, a face. And so he's got, you know, this short shaved hair and a beard here. And he's got um, big giant lips. And they, they're pinkish like he's got lipstick on or something. But you can see his ears and the eyes. You know, he looks very mean, evil evil and menacing and stuff. And then we have a, another one. Here where a guy has a flat top haircut, so he's got a little bit longer hair. He's got a messed up eye, as you can see. He looks like he's, you know, been slashed in the face with a scar, and so it's messed up his eye. There you can see his normal eye. And he just looks evil, mean, and angry. He's showing his teeth there and everything. So that looks... I don't know if these are based off any certain characters, like, you know, from the comics, like certain... Uh, Hi, uh, Hydra soldiers or anything, not sure, but they do look very mean and evil. Then weapons, um, we've got a, uh, a knife here, I want to say a sword, it is big enough to be a sword, but a knife there that you can obviously stick back into his sheath there on the back, which is cool that they have that. Then he's, since he's a big guy and an enforcer and stuff, he comes with larger weapons, so he's got a rocket launcher here, a bazooka, so he's got that that he can obviously shoot, and then he's got a giant rifle here as well. So again, not, um, Two fancy of guns are just, you know, a solid colored gun and, you know, just looks like a bazooka and then this just looks like some sort of rifle, but because it's Hydra, it's some, it's, you know, sort of like alien technology and stuff, but he can hold those bigger guns there. So that's the Enforcer's accessories. Then for the um, soldier, we have, uh, first off, we got a vest here. So he's got a vest. You can take the shoulder holsters off and put this vest on if you want to as well. It looks, you know, kind of like a bulletproof vest or something it's got pockets and everything on it there that you can put on for heads he does have a cool cool head so this one looks pretty cool it's you know kind of like a skullish design it looks like reaper from overwatch but i like the um look with the yellow face and of course these lines giving it like the skull type look and then the eyes with the red underneath and then he's got the hood on and everything so you can place that or this one that this uh, another video game looks like a fallout helmet um from like the fallout games and so it's like you know a mat uh it's like stormtrooper helmet or something so a helmet it's got a breathing apparatus on it and stuff and stuff up here which i assume is all for like breathing so for like gases and stuff um I was going to say like lights, but those are definitely not like head lamp lamps or something. But that's cool, and I like the whole red. It looks like some paint issues definitely going on there. It's like they messed up with some of the red. But those are all cool. You know, each of those would look pretty cool on him. And that's the thing. You can do so many different combinations with these. It's just crazy how many there are. And for his weapons, he comes with a rifle. Here looks maybe like a pump-action shotgun, maybe. Um... I'm not really sure because it kind of has that shotgun design to it, but it could just be a rifle. Not exactly sure. And then he comes with an auto rifle or I don't know what you'd call this. Again, it's Hydra uh, technology, so it could be really anything. Um, but it's a big giant gun. Of course, it has this big um, magazine on it, this round magazine with the Hydra logo on it. And then it does have like a bullet here, and so it can come out and everything. So you just stick it back in there, and it just sticks in, and you can take it out and stuff. So that's a pretty cool like accessory form that it can you know do stuff actually. So that's gonna be it for this Hydra Enforcer and Soldier two pack. And next up here is the AIM set where we have an AIM Trooper and AIM Scientist again. It's another Army Builder set where you can switch all sorts of pieces, but we're just looking at how they came out of the box. And then I'll show you all the different accessories and stuff. So I'll set the Scientist over to the side here. And so this guy is probably the coolest out of the entire, um, these two sets. I just like the way he looks overall, and he looks like an actual, like, superhero, um, 
but it just looks really awesome. So we'll look at his face here. So there you can see, it looks like he's got almost like Shocker's like classic um, head design, um, you know, from the Spider-Man comics and everything. So just like this uh, black like streak coming up and it comes to a point there on his face. Again, looks like a um, skeleton face or like a hockey mask almost, of course, with the lines here over the mouth. You can see his blue eyes and then he's got some breathers um, on the side here. So, of course, you know, the filter gases and everything. So, like, school. He, um... Basically, he's just an all-black suit figure, so he's just, you know, got black all on, um, over his body and stuff, and then the yellow, like, details over the top. So then go down, he does have this armor chest plate, so this actually looks like, you know, a piece of armor that's all yellow and stuff, and so it's like, you know, like a thick piece of armor. It's got, I like the silver and black, you know, like, buckles and stuff on there, and on the sides, as you can see, um, going down to his belt, and I do like how it's all segmented and stuff. I like that design. Um, going down his arms, he just goes into these yellow gauntlets around his his arm and then you got um, black fist and everything so he's just like I said he's got like a black suit just on over his whole entire body you can see all the way up to his neck and everything um, then he's got his belt there with no pockets or anything but going down he does have a um, leg holster here that's got a you know gun holster on the side and probably have to twist it around there to get it more into place there um, then he's got yellow knee pads on and then these yellow um, things on the side of his like his uh, they're like leg gauntlets or something because they're just on his shins maybe shin guards or something and he's got just black boots look like just normal black boot shoes um, but there he also has you know a holster for a knife there on the side of this one as well again detail wise there's not much because you know it's all just black and yellow um, movements he's got pretty much all the same so shoulder let's see yeah everything is exactly the same as we saw with the other two so nothing uh, special to look at on him he's got all the same movements and stuff so nothing too special but this figure definitely looks really cool and i like his design overall with the armor piece and that mask and stuff he just looks really cool so set him aside now and then we'll look at the scientist over here which this figure is kind of weird and funny so he's got this helmet on that's supposed to be you know like a hazmat like a helmet but it looks you know like a beekeeper or something it's weird flat on the top and stuff but it's all yellow then has the visor that you can see through and it is got like a textured design it looks like maybe a sticker type thing they've stuck onto it of course not a sticker but it just looks like something they've placed on it because it's offset right there in the middle and everything um then he has a collar again it's like a, he, a beekeeper because he's you know completely covered head to toe um but he's got a collar on there to protect his neck um then going down he's in like a yellow suit as you can see so it's got like buttons on the front of it and everything and it's a thick so it's not tight to his skin but it's like loose and kind of flowing um going down he does have this bandolier again this just came on you can switch it out i'm pretty sure if um, if you didn't want that on there, but it looks like it has some like gas grenades, uh, a couple of them on there, then of course a bunch of different pa uh, pockets and everything. Uh, going down his arms, he just goes into these black leather gloves, and again, you can see the buttons there are supposed to be buttons there on the um, sides of them, holding them on. Uh, going down, he's got this weird belt with this um, design there. Um, it's kind of a, just a weird like triangle diamonds design there for his waist it's there on the front and the back uh then he's just yellow again all the way down i like the flowing sides here you know these parts sticking off again just to show that it is a looser outfit not tight on him and then he goes into black boots which um from here up look you know like boots you'd probably wear because you can tighten them and stuff so stuff can't get in so they have the buckles and everything on them but then they come into like points and they look like weird like old-timey shoes or something just how weird it's weird how pointed they are and so they look like, you know, shoes from like the 1800s or earlier or something. They just look really funny to me. Um, I just get a laugh at them, though. And movement-wise, he is, I'm pretty sure, exactly the same. Just has different shoulder design here to get more bul bulkier shoulders. So you can't move as much because of that. But everything else, though, no, um, I was going to say no waist twist, but I guess he does. It's just hidden under this belt part. But yeah, everything else is the same on him. Um, so nothing too much more to look at though, but we will move on to accessories now. Um, I assume these go for both. Of course, you can pretty much sw swap out these for anybody. There's no set um, design for each of them, except for the that last set because, you know, the Enforcer was so big, certain stuff wouldn't fit on him. But these two are going to be the exact same size, but they have some shoulder holsters here or shoulder things you can put on either one. So there's like a gray one and a brown one there, so you can put those on either whichever you'd want if you'd want these on at all. So it's got both of those. Um, but the parts that came with the uh, trooper 
Um, like I said, you could switch him out though for anybody, but he also comes with one of the, uh, like hazmat suit helmets here or the beekeeper helmets again is what they look like. So you can give him one of those as well if you wanted to. Um, I think these are goofy though and would not want to, but you know, you could do whatever you want. Um, he comes with a like backpack thing. So again, you, you can put these on either one. I don't know if because the color may not fit on that one, but you can just take the backpack and just push it on. And so it gives him you know some extra detail and stuff there with that and it's you know got the blue and the silver uh, part in the middle it looks like some sort of reactor zone could be just be you know like a purifier thing for his um suit and everything because he's got that mask on um he come weapon wise he comes with a knife so there's a knife you know it looks like just a classic normal knife, just with a gold handle on it that you can obviously put down into his um, holster, his knife holster here on his leg, so you can just, um, it's supposed to fit down in there, it's kind of sticking and stuff, then he comes with a just normal handgun, again, it's all black, it's got the like normal black part, it looks like handgun, but then they have the yellow paint on as well, that can go into his holster there on his thigh, and then he comes with a long, like, rifle, his feet keep getting messed up every time I move him, there we go, and so he comes with a long rifle here, again, aim, says aim right on the side, and everything there, so it's just, you know, a rifle of some sort, and so that's all the stuff that the trooper comes with, and then for the scientists, we have a, another big gun, it's, I think, exactly the same as the Hydra one, uh, maybe a little bit different, uh, but it's yellow and blue instead of the all silver and stuff, but it looks almost the exact same design, could, like I said, could be a little different, but looks pretty close to it, so he's got that, um, for heads, he does have a head you can swap out to where it's got goggles on instead of these um, blue design goggles, and you can see a face there, and then the yellow and black design, so you can obviously switch that out there if you wanted that. And then he's got more guns, so he has what looks to be, you know, more like a Tommy gun type design there. So it has the, you know, uh, mag rounded magazine on this one as well, just not big and it doesn't detach like that other one. So, but I like the design with the yellow and everything. And then he's also got this gun, which I don't know what this is. This looks, again, you know, just like some alien technology weapon. Um, I like the way it looks overall, just don't know what it is, and it's hard to tell what kind of weapon it's or gun it's designed off or anything, so it just looks really weird. And so that's going to be it for the AIM Trooper and AIM Scientist pack. So that's going to be it for these Toys R Us exclusive two packs of Marvel Legends with the Hydra set of the Enforcer and the Soldier and the AIM set of the Trooper and the Scientist. So again, both of these are Army Builder sets, so you can buy multiple of these, mix and match stuff, and get all sorts of different um, figures and soldiers to build a Hydra um, army and an AIM army. And these sets were both really cool, and I loved all the different accessories and stuff they came with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Marvel Legend videos. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we will see you next time.